It is time to go in depth on Spectrum Bay News 9. Now, this afternoon, we're taking an in depth look at a very new hearing aid technology. 35 million Americans are considered to have significant hearing loss, and about 10 million people have hearing aids. The new technology that could help lots of people is called a hearing lens. What's it all about? Well, to tell us, we're bringing in Dr. Scott Powell. Dr. Powell, thanks so much for joining us here on Spectrum Bay News 9. Thanks for having me. All right, real quickly, tell us about how a traditional hearing aid works and how this new hearing lens works. Well, a traditional hearing aid essentially is a microphone and a speaker. So a microphone behind the ear typically will aggregate the sound, it'll process it, and then it will direct it down the ear canal, towards our eardrum, and through our hearing system. The ear lens essentially is different. It actually does the same in the fact that it gathers sound into a device. But in this case, there's actually a uh, device that's laying on your eardrum that transmits and vibrates to a certain frequency, and that's how it transmits sound. So we're looking so what at... what that does... Yeah, so we're looking at one of the videos here. How is this thing mm -hmm. actually put into the ear, and how does it rest on the eardrum? So this is the conventional A, as you can see, it's just, it's just making noise louder down the ear canal. The new ear lens essentially is form-fitted custom to the patient. So what happens is we actually uh, foam their ear canal specifically. Then they take a micron slices to this device that will sit on the eardrum, and it just rests there with a oil seal. It doesn't get attached. There's no surgical intervention. We just place that in the office quite comfortably. So the big advantage of the hearing lens, I guess, is that people can hear higher frequencies a lot better, and that makes the way they hear a lot more enjoyable and useful. Is that, is that correct? That is, that is very correct. So our typical hearing process is about this, this much uh, bandwidth of hearing. Hearing aids, we have to narrow that down primarily because as we try to get too high frequency, we get tinny sounds and feedback. And so by doing the ear lens, we're able to re-spread that back out, both the low frequencies, so the, the audiophiles of the world would love that, as well as the high frequencies, which is great for hearing and noise. So when there's a lot of background noise, which is the biggest problem when it comes to people hearing aids and hearing loss, this really makes this significantly better. You know, I've seen some articles about the uh, hearing lens. It looks like it's been around for a couple of years in use. Question is, how big of a deal is it? How many office visits do people need to go to to try to get one of these versus a uh, traditional hearing aid? Well, any hearing aid is going to be a relationship with the uh, audio, um, audiogram professional as well as the medical professional. So the difference here is once we form fit the ear canal and they make their lens specifically for the patient, they can pretty much keep that on all the time. They can shower with it. They can sw even swim with it. The only time we really have to be involved to remove it is if they have to get an MRI because of the metal component. So the nice thing is they can stay there. About once a week, they put a few drops of oil in their ear canal, and that's about it. So let's some, say somebody gets one of these uh, devices, the hearing lens. How big a, a dramatic impact is it compared to having a traditional hearing aid? What are you hearing from your patients? It's quite, it's quite remarkable. And the amazing thing is when they come in, there's a demo they can actually do where they can plug in their hearing aid into a system and they'll, they'll hear what they normally hear with their hearing aid. And then they can flip a switch over to what an ear lens would show and they have a dramatic difference. And even for someone like you and I who's not wearing a hearing aid, you, you realize, wow, I didn't realize how much hearing aid patients did not get. Now, it's still vastly better than not hearing, but now it's another jump from a traditional hearing aid, not quite get what they want. Now they can go even further. So a typical hearing aid might cost how much uh, a hearing lens? They are more expensive. Mm -hmm. They are more expensive, but the difference here is it, it's longer lasting. And so in that package, what they do is they have essentially concierge coverage. So if you're out in California and you have a problem, they're going to find you a physician who can help you and, and fit your and, and replace your ear lens. Uh, you do have one replacement in case something were to go wrong. And so the, all that uh, package for the price is, is packaged into all the visits and the fine tuning. If you want, you know, volume to pitch this, those things are all all baked into the price. So unfortunately, as a new technology, it's going to be a little more expensive than the standard. 
But again, it, as someone sees the difference and the hearing aid is not quite there, they're more willing to make that make that leap. And then as time goes on with any technology, we expect the price to climb down. So I want to give you a chance to give a pitch to all those people out there that have hearing problems and for whatever reason, they just won't go in and get hearing aids. I had a, a relative's, uh, my wife's grandmother, who was a wonderful woman. She had a great personality, and we could never get her to get hearing aids. And when you try to talk to her, half the time you'd say something, and I think she was just bluffing on whether or not she really understood what you were saying. And I feel like she really missed out on so much uh, great times in communicating with people because she didn't have a hearing aid, just wouldn't get one. What would you say to people like that? Well, probably the biggest thing when it comes to hearing loss patients is we know now it does affect their cognitive function. Uh, there's been multiple studies now that show that cognitive function will decline at a faster rate if we don't augment their hearing loss, which is a dramatic statement. Now, is it gone so far as saying early onset Alzheimer's may be connected? There is that link that is now discussed. And the thought process is if those patients who aren't really hearing, they're mentally not as vibrant and paying attention, they zone out. And over time, that wears people down, even in the younger population who need hearing aids. So the biggest thing is to, for them to come in, see what hearing loss they have. Let us show them the options of hearing aids. They're not as scary as they may sound. And if nothing else, simply educate them on what may work for them. And then if they want to go beyond that, then to the ear lens, what have you, then that's something we can discuss as well. And that's something we, we thrive on is, is all-encompassing comprehensive care. Dr. Scott Powell, thank you so much for joining us here on Spectrum Bay News 9 today. Thanks for having me.